Hello everybody, welcome to 3D Printing Dad. I am brand new to 3D printing, and I know a lot of you guys are looking to get into 3D printing, are brand new to 3D printing, and wondering what printer's for you. And I'm brand new to YouTube too, so stay with me. So we're gonna unbox this brand new P1S combo kit. And I think it's a great 3D printer what I've seen, and now I'm gonna find out if it's right for you or right for me. And we're gonna start unboxing it today. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Like and subscribe if you'd like, I'd really appreciate it. And see if I can do another 3D printer. Now, we'll need a knife first, I guess. I'm actually glad I got the 3D printer because FedEx decided to leave it on my front, right in front of my garage, for everybody to see, and I wasn't home. Luckily, I was only an hour away, I drove, and it was still there. Okay. It is well packaged. It's not show my address or anything. Okay, hold on a second guys. This thing's not that light. There it is. So that's what we get in the box. As well as some support for PLA, some orange filament, and some green filament. Great for the holidays. And that's all that's in the box. So let's go unbox un to the packaging. And please remember, don't forget to subscribe or like my video. I really appreciate it. This is the first time I've done a YouTube video, so if you have any comments or suggestions below, please, I'd love to read them. So exciting to get a 3D printer. My, my, my 10 year old is so happy too. He's like, what can we 3D print? I have no idea. We're going to try. I don't know where I'm going to put this 3D printer yet. So maybe next time I'm not going to videotape with a light in my head. That might be another suggestion. So this is the top glass. Let's use a knife and not break it. That'd be bad. One thing I would suggest to FedEx though, I know it was delivered by FedEx, don't leave big patches in front of a garage. There's a lot of porch thieves out there and everything. A lot can happen in 10 minutes, an hour, if you're not home. They used to sign for things. There's the top glass plate. Oh, there's the instructions. There's the components. Hopefully it's not that hard to read. Sometimes I heard translated instructions become a little difficult. Oh, that's the back. Here's the front. I saw something online about doing a Christmas sign. You put LED lights in, it's almost like a neon sign. That'd be nice to try. And then comments below, what are you guys doing for the holidays? That'd be good to know too. Everybody know what you're printing or suggesting to people that are brand new to 3D printing what they can do for the holidays? Tis the season, right? If this video gets out by the holidays, I know it's pretty close. I don't know if I have to do any editing to it yet. I have no idea. Hopefully my voice is good. I got this microphone from Amazon. Did 
disconnected to the phone right now. Okay, does this just come straight in? Well, maybe I should follow the instructions now. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Is there any unboxing instruction? Okay, yeah. Move the tool kit. Sense. Then slide this out. I have to remove this foam piece first. Okay. Move toolkit and slide out. Oh, okay. Oopsie. Yes, you need Allen key. Don't break your 3D printer. Follow the instructions. Does it come with an Allen key, or do I have to go find an Allen key in my, in my tool shelf? It came with tools. Yay! Okay. It says you have to undo these. Oh, there's... There's little arrows showing you what you have to undo. Did you see that? I got a camera in there, but he's just my friend. He's just trying to help out as best he can. Hopefully, we can see that now. Good. See the little things I have to undo. Is that the only things I have to do? Two screws. Two screws and pull out. That makes it a lot easier. And there's the multicolor AMS kit. Or how hard that's going to be to set up. Okay. So they're pretty good instructions. Next, remove the four screws at the. Aha. Uh -huh. Four more screws in there. See the arrows? We have to do those next. Need the long one. Come on. Do I need the long one? Can't really see in there. Aha, got it. Please be patient. I know it takes a bit of time. It might be easier to open the door to do this and then we have your two hands. Sometimes I wish it would just be turn it on and go, but I guess for shipping. You know, these pizzas flying around. Got 
Okay. Next. Take out the AMS cushioning, okay? Move the cardboard around the tool head. Oops, I have some cardboard. Let's see if I can get that out to all back and Ah, but I don't think we want to leave the cardboard in there. Phone? Oh. Phone, phone, phone. Shoot. Okay. Next. Are we connecting the MS right now or later? Cable pin plug into either interface. I think that's later. We'll worry about that later. Who knows if I'm right or not, but I'm not worrying about the AMS on the AMS assembly. Okay. AMS assembly. But then it jumps over. I don't understand this. Because I know this goes here. That's what I think. Does anything else happen? Okay, this is a little confusing. I know. We're going to figure it out, though. We don't have the top on yet. Okay, we're not going to worry about this now. So the chain AMS assembly, and I'm just telling you about the PS cable and tube, but not going any further. So we're just going to jump to the next page. Okay. Next, we'll need the spool holder. Spool holder. And we're going to have to do it back. Okay. So this goes. Remove screw. Oh, there, there we go. Screws for spool holder. That's the top. So you have to make sure the top is so that the spool rides around. The slot here goes on the outside. Slot outside. This way inside. Good to go. But first instruction, last page was not the most instructional page. Mind. I have to take one screw out. One screw is not in there, but one screw you have to take out yourself. Make sure I had the other screw there. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate you liking or subscribing. May I can maybe look at doing another video shortly. And of course, any suggestions below, because this is my first time YouTubing. Hopefully the audio is good. One spool holder attached. Woohoo! Hot bed unlocking. Okay. Remove the three screws with Allen keys H2 to unlock the hot bed. 
Let's turn this around again. So again, the good news is they have little arrows showing what screws to unlock. That one. Okay, let's try this again. This one here, here, up here, and here. Find it easier to unlock them with the door open. Or unscrew them with the door open. Could have used my electric screwdriver too, I guess. But not everybody has an electric hand screwdriver and don't want to strip the bolts or anything. Or break it before you use it. That'd be my luck. Remember, when you first get one, this is my, I have to print something nice for my wife. So that way she's like, okay, you can keep it. First she's like, why do you buy that thing? Also, Bob, to show you guys how easy it is to start 3D printing, hopefully. Or what problems I have. Okay. Move bit. Insert LCD cable into the port by plugging into the terminal as pictured. Okay. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, I need this. This is the control screen. So you have to connect these two together. Luckily, it doesn't seem that hard. But I have fat fingers, so there we go. And make sure I put it the right way. It goes inside there, like so. Then you push in and pull to the right. Pull to the right. There we go. I heard a snap, so hopefully that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Okay, now we're supposed to download the handy app. Something we're almost done here. Didn't really tell me to take out these phone things, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to. Or is that after it moves? Yeah, after it moves, but it looks like it's underneath. I'll do that later, I guess. So now I'm gonna have to download the handy app. So I'm gonna have to borrow my friend's phone. Because I'm using my phone to, of course, record this video. Okay. Where's your picture? Camera. Camera. Uh -huh. That's not camera. Where's your camera? Sheesh. <laughs> So they have a QR code here where you download the app. Okay. Okay. 
and brings up the app. And of course, the Play Store. Power to I guess. Hopefully my power can reach. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna um we're gonna uh, just be a moment and I know it's blank screen for a second. I need to get an extension here. I don't think you guys have this problem when you're setting up to do your printer because you know what? You're going to know where you're going to set it up and plug it in at the time. But right now, my plug is over here. Now I have a plug. Things I should have been prepared for. Open this now. Loading up. I agree. Now what do we do? Hmm? Okay. Device this okay. So you have to go to devices, you have to add a device. You have to make a new account, I guess, create a new account. Or maybe I have an account, I think I have one. I made my order. Okay. Hopefully I remember my password. You guys aren't getting it, sorry. Uh huh. Okay, so then it can it searches your device. Hmm? 
Would you like to bind the 3D printer? Yes. To your account? Yes. Okay, make sure the printer is within 4 meters. Make sure, select pair option on the 3D printing screen. Okay. Select your region, North America. Scan the QR code to configure Wi Fi and use account of Bamboo app. What the hell? Okay, let's try this again. Paired. Failed. What? Okay. These are problems you might get. Uh, Okay, now we're on Wi Fi. Let's see if this will work. Having some difficulty, we'll figure it out. Guess it has to connect Wi Fi first, but it said to connect the Go. Cool. I know this is a problem, guys. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Try to load the app again. Would you like to bind a 3D printer with your current account? Yes. No, I want to buy my printer. Build the request printer when I find to what? And of course, the pop up screen just doesn't say that long at all. So, it says pair, I push pair, goes up here, and tells me pair. I push pair. Finally, that's, and then. Failed request. It's not connected to the Wi Fi for some reason. I can't get the Wi Fi until it says check printer routine. Self testing, but there's got all this foam in here stuff too. Yeah, yeah. So 
What's up? Let me find her. It is moving, no? It is moving. Making some weird noises. Self-testing still. Making a lot of weird vibration noises. I think that's supposed to happen. While we're doing that, I'm going to open up the screen a little bit. Like Who knows? Might ask for it soon. So. Let's do princess green. Christmas green it is. So you've got a lot of foam. Have to throw away while we're waiting for this to do its thing. Let's put everything back in the box. That's not needed, I think. I think what's called is doing its vibration test part of Clipper or its own version of, of what I've read about is to help it print faster. Yeah. It's vibration tests. I'm not sure. Self testing complete. But now let's try to. Where is the. Settings. Just be more. I'm trying to figure this out next.
There we go. I have got the. I sorry, was quiet that much. I was trying to figure out what's going on. I'm trying to confirm binding now. It seems like my Wi-Fi is connected properly to it. So then you have to add, enter your Wi-Fi password. Let's see if it's going to work this time. I have done this. What the? Let's do it again. Uh -huh. Yeah. My printer is there, it looks like. Yay. Woohoo. Update, I guess. So that was the Bamboo Lab unboxing. So I guess we should try to print something, but we have to wait for it to download its update and install it. Maybe I should try to install this too. The instructions for the There's some more instructions how to set this thing up. First print. But It's like this, I don't know. Huh? Just go on so long. Out. Took them up here, yes. Firmware has been updated. Yay! Assembly, okay. Big hole up here. You're just supposed to like that. Yes, sir. Your wire. Loud noises. Sure. I have this wire here. Duh. Is there a wire? Yes, it's sitting right in front of you, Cliff. Okay. So now, we have to plug in this one here. Plug this thing in to this thing over here. I know I skipped this part, but I was like, not that good instructions here. Okay, next one. So this says you can plug, cable six being plugged into either interface. Now this will be plugged into Okay. And 
that. I'll be aware. Pretty sure, I think. I'm just going on my head, just thinking what, what should be next. But I just don't know if this is supposed to have this hole here, or if this is supposed to be going somewhere or not. Or there's supposed to be a plate here or something. Let's figure that out. Maybe it has supposed to have that space up there. Beautiful room. Does it on microphone? Let's not get that stuff. I don't want you to see that stuff. I'll have to wipe that out, I guess. Let's figure out how to remove the serial number and stuff that was just shown up on the screen. That'll be some editing I'm going to have to do, I guess. It said turn on the AMS. Place the least one spool of filament in the AMS, turn on the printer, turn on the power, and start the print. Turn the power to start the printer in the AMS. Insert the filament into the filament, and it should automatically. Okay, let me turn it off again. Yeah. Why is my flash? Filament. It'll start filament when it starts printing, or am I missing something? So after 36 degrees, it makes you get to 55.
I know everybody's like, you're a newbie, you, know, you should know what you're doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. This is like brand new person. I'm following instructions. Oh, it says, uh, filament ran out. Yes, of course. I know what filament ran out. It's not letting me put filament in. Okay, let's see if I can try to fill in a bit more. I feel like woohoo. So that was a bit interesting. I don't think this is used for me. This just feels like it needs to be something else. I just don't know yet what needs to happen. Unless it sits on top of the glass. That would probably be it. Duh! That's why it has a feet. I'm like, why is that a. PLA, they say don't put it on, but I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Well, let's try to print again. Technically, it wasn't that hard to set up. Just a little bit of hiccups with the app compared to, say, with the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi, and the app just wouldn't connect every once in a while. It just took a bit of trial and error to do it over again. Maybe there's not some. Hold on. Maybe I'll just let someone hold on. See all the color going in. This is one thing I really want to try out too. What made you decide this printer? It has four different colors. To do four, you can do multicolor printing, and you can even get more of these AMSs if you want to do more and more. The bad downside is you almost take a lot in waste filament. They're saying. But for my son and stuff, like having one item not having me painted, not having to scratch off. I think it would be really good. And making some other things for the house. And signs are really nice. If you do two colors, it won't waste that much. If you do one solid color on the bottom and then another color on top. We're almost up to temperature. It 
So one good thing about this one compared to other ones I was looking at, some other printers you have to do a lot of manually leveling of the bed and a lot, know a lot, sometimes know what you're doing with paper and vibrations as well. This one basically calibrates for you, which is really good. I think that's why I bought this one. You can go one step further the X1, like the X1 series or X1 Carbon series, but you're paying another $600 to have a better screen and it'll actually do more calibration for you if you have if you have the money. But I think this is the perfect budget one for me anyhow. I can't keep it open. I don't know what it's doing right Can't tell anything really. It's like it's doing a test print or something back there, but I can't even tell. The light's on, but I can't see back there anymore. Now it's supposed to be leveling the bed for you, auto leveling, vibration detection. So you don't have to do it yourself. So what it does is it goes up and down the nozzle, up and down touches the bed, and it goes multiple points along the bed to verify the, the levelness of the bed so your print will stick to the bed. So you have a better print all over the whole bed sheet if you want to do a full bed. wait for this to be done. This can take up to five to seven minutes, they're saying. It might be longer. You got extra pieces too in here. Lubricant, extra screws. Hopefully they're extra because I didn't see don't use them anywhere. That's it of the instructions too. We've gone through the whole instructions. So the AMS was easy to connect to. All it was was two plugs in the back. I'll show you the next. It was just two two cables you plug in and then this filament. I had to load the fiddle manually. It said you just push it in and it would auto load, but I'd actually on the app push load filament. It wouldn't uh, didn't automatically load for me. And there's and I was doing some research of some other things you can print off for this, like for the spool holder on the side, or a Y connector so you can do like flexible filaments. They're not supposed to put flexible filaments in here. Now, I did a lot of research before I bought one. It's been like six months of verifying what printer to buy. And I decided to finally buy this one. And this is what I've this is how it's done so far. Oh yeah. And it poops out filament from its head when it first gets in to make sure it has an easy flow. And that's why what happens when you're doing multicolor filament, you get a lot of these little poops out. We're 19% done. Now it's doing a test print. I think it's actually printing it now. Wow, look at that thing go. It's like me. It's like um, Tasmanian devil. <laughs> you block some of the sound if you close the door. Oh, they're saying for PLA you should keep the lid off or keep the door open so it doesn't get too hot in there. Oh, 
And they come with all the tools you needed. There's two Allen keys. And of course you'll need a box cutter or scissors or something to cut off all the paint and the tape and stuff. I put the dry desk in, so I haven't done that yet. Yeah, it comes with extra PT tubes. But break one. Keep all my stuff together here. So I don't lose anything. I heard E3D just came with a new nozzle for the P1 series or X1 series carbon, so it's a third party um, collaboration. So I don't know myself, I don't know what's been to invest in the hardened nozzle or invest in one of the new E3D nozzles. Please leave comments below, to let me know. And why, which one's better for the price? As I said, I'm brand new to 3D printing. I'd like all the information or quick tips. I've heard some things to print off of this. There's a Y connector on the back, which I haven't done yet, of course, I just turned it on. Uh, the poop chute thing, so it can go on the side, so you're, it's not just flying at the back, which is probably what next thing I'll probably print soon. I'll probably have to recalibrate when I move it there, saying too, because you want to have it vibration calibrated where you move it to. So I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I don't think my wife will let me keep it on the kitchen table. It might not be good for dinner time. As I said, please like and subscribe below. I'd appreciate it. Maybe I can do more videos like this on other 3D printers. If I can find a way of paying for them anyhow. I'd love to be able to review other ones to show other people what I'm learning along the way. So we have 17 minutes left. So I can pause it here and continue or do you want to just keep it on top? I'm not sure. Um, let's see what else we can look at, I guess. PTF tubes. I want to look at what I want to print next. Um, maybe I should just do another video next what I printed and how, I, how it works. When I do a couple prints and let you know, I'll print off the extra things I, I see online. We'll talk next time. So please like and subscribe below and comment suggestions would be amazing and I can look at what's the next um, video for this um, channel. Have a good day.